Once you guys got another video here for you on how to run Windows updates from the command line. Now if you want to install Windows updates or check for Windows updates or remove Windows updates or any of that sort of stuff you can do that inside PowerShell and I'm going to be showing you how to do that in this video today. So let's get started. So first off what we're going to need to do is go down to the start button here and uh, we're going to right click and open up PowerShell because we're going to be working in PowerShell for pretty much the whole of this video. Going to open up PowerShell, say yes to the UAC here and the PowerShell prompt box will open. Now what we need to do here is run a bunch of commands to... So what we're going to do is set up our system and to do that we're going to need to download and install the update management uh, module. Uh, this is your uh, PS Windows update module which we can download and I'll show you how to do that here. So first off what we're going to do is type out a command so we can pull this down and uh, it will go to installation. So we're going to go install and then dash module and once you've got that right you're going to go space and then PS Windows update. Now you will need to give this permission to allow it to install on the system. Now this is not my recommended way of doing it. I'll show you how to uh, my recommended way of doing this in a second. But you can see here now it's asking us to provide the required uh, permissions to allow this to go ahead. So what I'm going to do here is say wifey yes. And you'll probably be prompted to say uh, this is an untrusted repository. And this is what you're going to see here. So if you're not happy with doing this, then you want to back out. You can do, you can say, no, I'm not happy. And uh, it will back you out and it won't install. Okay. But if you do want to do it a different way, I'll show you the way I recommend to do this, which is a much more easier and also a better way of doing it rather than uh, doing it this way. So this is the way I recommend you do it. It's just to download the Windows Update PowerShell module uh, from uh, this site here. And uh, you can agree to their terms and download the module. I'm going to put this onto the desktop of the computer so it's easier to work with. And we'll stick it on there and then save. And it's a small little file. So let's we'll get this downloaded. And once that's downloaded, what we can do is just uh, open this up and extract it. Now we need to extract it to uh, the Windows uh, directory. So first off, we need to unblock this uh, because we've downloaded it off the internet. So I'm going to right click here and we're going to go to properties. And you should see a little tick box here that says unblock. Just do that to make sure that the file extracts properly. Now we can write right click and extract all and we can now browse to the location where we want to install this so basically what we're going to do is is go to the windows directory then we can go to system 32 once we're in here you should see uh, the windows powershell folder so just go searching through here should be down with the W's there we go and you should see 1.0 once you get inside here look for modules and this is the place where we want to install it okay now if you did it the other way it will install the module into the um, documents folder on on your computer so this is a probably a better way of doing it so just uh, extract this but they both should work. So click continue and this will then extract that into there. That's now done. We can close this off and we can move on to the next bit. OK, so next up, what we're going to do is open up our PowerShell and we're going to open up PowerShell as administrator. So right click on the start button here and go PowerShell with administrator. Say yes to the user account control and uh, this will open up our command prompt box. So what I'm going to do first is make the text a bit bigger so you can see what I'm typing because someone was complaining the other day that it was a bit small. So let's go ahead and set this up. 
So what we're going to do here is go into options, I'll make the cursor size medium, then go to font and go around about 28. There we go. And then we can click OK and the font should be a bit bigger so you can see it. So you should be able to see what I'm typing now. OK, so let's move on to the next bit. So what we want to do is type in uh, the allow scripts execution and we need to put in this command to do that. So go set dash execution policy. That's what we need to basically put here. So just put that in and then space and then remote signed. And this should have no problems then for running that script there. So let's just push enter here. Now, anytime you do something like this, it's going to ask you, do you want to make these changes? And of course, um, I'm going to say yes here because I do want to execute policy change. And uh, this is what I'm going to do. So if you're not happy with doing any of this stuff, then obviously uh, just push no and then step away from the tutorial. Or you can install VirtualBox and install Windows on there and practice on there. So we can see here now we're going to do import dash module and then space PS Windows update just as I'm typing out here. OK, and I'm trying to keep it nice and slow so you can see what I'm doing and then push enter. And this is now imported the module. So next up, we can go ahead and see what the list of commands are for uh, this module. So we can see what we've got here. So let's go ahead and type get dash command. Then we're going to go space and then dash module. And then space PS Windows update. Just as I'm typing it out here. And then you should get a list of commands which you can use with this module. OK. And you can see here we can get the Windows updates. We can hide Windows updates. We can install Windows updates. We can uninstall Windows updates. And you can do a bunch of other stuff inside here with these commands. OK. So just take your time to get familiar with these. And this will help you understand how this uh, module and this script works. So let's go ahead and uh, get used to typing out a few of these. So we'll first off do the get dash windows update command. And this will give us the updates that are available for our Windows 10 system. And that's what we need to do here. So let's go ahead and roll this up and we can type out that command. So I'm going to type here get dash windows update. And uh, once we push this, it will tell us what updates are available for this machine. Now, obviously, these updates may be different on your system because obviously you may be watching this video uh, some months later. So you should see it populate. It will take a bit of time, so be patient, and then it will just populate the updates that are available. There we go. And you can see here we've got the size of megabytes and the actual numbers there KB890830 and that is the actual update and you can see here I can now install these so if I want to go install dash windows update push enter and it will ask me which ones I want to uninstall on this system so I can either install all of them I can choose which ones I want to install. So you can see here it's saying confirm you want to install uh, this update. So it's do, talking about the first update we got in the line there. So if I say wifey yes, it will go on to the second one. Now if I did A, it will say yes for all. That will basically put all of them to come down. And if I said S, it will say suspend. I'll show you all these uh, in sequence here. So I'll try all of, doing all of them separately one at a time. Let me do that command again and show you so I can show you another scenario in case you don't want to do one at a time here. So let's go ahead and get the list up again. So you see here it's asking us to confirm and if I type another letter in here say A it will say yes for all and it's accepted all of these to come down. So that means now I'm going to get all of these coming down, which are large updates as one of them is 84 gigabytes. And you can see it will start downloading and start coming down onto the system. And then it will install those updates. 
Now you can suspend an update and I'll show you that right now because I want to suspend that 84 gigabyte update and the way you suspend it is you go through separately by putting a wifey yes and then when you get to the one you want to suspend you put s and it will suspend it so let me just quickly show you that here so you can see they are now coming down you can see that rejected one here I've said no I don't want that uh, 84 gigabyte one because this is a tutorial and you'll be watching this for ages so I've said yes to the others but rejected that one and now they're coming down okay and these are now installing as well so they've downloaded these little few updates and it will start to install them onto the system so you can see up the top here in it should be in green there we go so installing updates one of three and that will start coming down now because we're in PowerShell you don't really see a lot of stuff like a, a counter going down and all that sort of stuff you know like a the little fancy graphic it's just in PowerShell and it's working in the background that's basically what it is here so once that goes down it will start installing these and if you look down at the bottom here it says installed there's two of them installed and it now is installing the final one it will then ask you to reboot the system you can say why for yes and the system will reboot in a normal way and you will see the updates being updated uh, after the reboot so let me go ahead and type wifey yes here and reboot the system so let's push enter here system will then start to reboot and you'll go through the same process as you would do if you'd have updated that inside the windows update section in your settings pane there so let's go ahead and uh, open up command prompt here again and we can now check the history of the updates that we've run on this system and the way you do that is going up to the top and we can type in a command uh, to see the history so do get dash wu history and that's windows update history basically but it's wu push enter and it will give you the update history it may take a bit of time to populate that for you so be patient I am on a virtual machine here but you should now see the date and the time and what was installed and the title of that update what was installed on the system now you can uninstall this if you want to you can uninstall one of these as well from this location and you can see that KB2267602 and you can choose which to uninstall by right typing in that command that I showed you on the screen there and that's just going to be about it for this video hope this one's been useful to you hope you learned something my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys and I shall see you again for another video tomorrow bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos